Now, Mihiotiwa in the headlines. It's thought engine failure caused a helicopter to plunge into the sea in the Auckland Harbour today. Peter Maloney and Nina Heatley from Composite Helicopters are uninjured after the helicopter went down between North Head and Rangitoto Island. The pair were picked up by a Navy ship and then brought to shore by the police. The CAA will investigate. The Bishop of Auckland has given evidence in his defence at a human rights tribunal discrimination hearing. The tribunal is hearing the case of Gino Cisneros, who is accusing Bishop Ross Bay of discrimination, saying he wasn't able to train as a priest because he's in a relationship with a man. Bishop Bay says he stood by the church's rule of having only straight, married or celibate people become priests and told the hearing there was no point in leading someone down a dead-end road. Hundreds of mourners travelled from the East Coast today to bless Parikura Horomia's office and watch Parliament proceedings stop and MPs pay tribute to the much-loved Ikaroa Rafati MP. The Labour MP held the seat from 1999 until his death last week. Parties are now preparing candidates for the by-election. The Prime Minister expects it to be in mid to late June once formalities are completed. One of the men accused of assaulting cricketer Jesse Ryder is looking at getting the charges dropped. The 37-year-old is facing two charges, one of assault, the other of injuring, while his 20-year-old nephew has pleaded guilty to assaulting Ryder. Judge John MacDonald has continued name suppression for the two. The men will be back in court next month. And the government is sticking with Novapay in the meantime. Minister Stephen Joyce says the long-term future of the system will stay under review. Mr Joyce says improvements from pay to pay have continued to be made. And disappointment from some Waihi residents at a decision to give the green light to mining under residential land in the town. Newmont Waihi Gold has been given permission to mine directly underneath around 45 homes in Waihi. Waihi residents advocate Colette Spaulding says it's bad news not only for townspeople and homeowners, but it sets a precedent for the company to seek permission to mine beneath properties throughout the country. And a win for workers at the TY Point Aluminium Smelter near Invercargill. The Employment Relations Authority has ruled workers are owed back pay from their employer for annual leave they were entitled to but never received. The authority ruled the workers were legally entitled to 12 hours leave under their employment agreements. Hey, if I got cupping a katukuna te waka, if I got to hear it, the wahapu or tamaki, the tonamana, futuporo or the ao, kita wahi. A kawayana tawaka waka, ki San Francisco, mote ipu tere waka, u America. A tate tahu, hu rangapu, ungati fatua, a tu para Morrison, ma te faka kitinga or te waka nai, kafaka tai ranga hia au terwa, kite au turuhi. First and third for New Zealand at the prestigious badminton horse trials in England. Jock Paggett has won the three-day event on debut, riding a clear show-jumping round on Clifton Promise. Andrew Nicholson finished third on Nareo. Koe ranga karere matua mai te wharikori rōrima, nohora mai.